Hi, I'm Lance with Ultimate Canine, and today we're going to talk about reward. So when I meet with clients and we talk about training, I incorporate a lot of reward. Whether it's physical praise, a ball, a food, or a combination thereof, reward is important. Humans get confused about reward because most of the population works for two weeks and then they get their reward. Sometimes during that work week, they may get a that a boy or good job or some certificate that says that they're awesome. Some people that doesn't mean anything and all they work for is that money. And some people have so much drive and they wanna make these goals come true like buy a house or buy a new car or retire so they save money so they work really hard to get a whole bunch of it and then they save it up and that's the reward. Some people don't care about money and their reward is like words of affirmation. They love that, good job buddy. They love to have people tell them how great of a job they did. Humans, there are many, there are many types of reward for humans, okay? People take that and they equate it to their dog. So, reward to a dog is a lot different. If you don't reward your dog for two weeks because you're gonna pay him like we get paid, most of the people, it's gonna create a problem. They're gonna lose all hope that a reward is coming because they don't know when that reward is gonna come. They just have no hope it's gonna to come today, tomorrow, or forever. So it's a surprise at the end of that two weeks if you were to do that hypothetically. But just think at your job, if somebody followed you around and you sent an email and they gave you, they paid you for the tasks that you did, you'd be more motivated to do those tasks. Hey, you sent an email, here's a hundred bucks. You sent a call, great job, here's a hundred bucks. You let the team know and you, you set up a meeting to do all these things, here's a thousand dollars. You would work harder because you knew what you had to get paid. That's why a lot of people that work a nine to five, they start to get complacent in their job after years of doing it because they know that I'm not gonna get paid anymore, I'm topped out on my reward, you know, I'm a GS whatever, or I'm at the top of my salary so I can't get a raise, or they can't fire me so why not just do the bare minimum to get by. So that in the dog training world is kind of called a room service reward. The reward just comes to you for doing little to nothing, just doing the bare bones of what you're supposed to do today, day to day. So you can't get the most out of your reward system if you do that. The reward system has to come at first in a continuous reward. And then it has to come in a varied reward. And I believe it should always stay in a varied reward. If the dog has hope that the reward is coming, they are not going to lose interest in working with and for you. Now, there's a huge thing on the internet right now that's talking about bribery. You shouldn't have to bribe your dog. You shouldn't have to bribe your dog. Bribing your dog is bad and blah, 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 blah. Your dog needs a reward. And the squirrel is gonna be more, is gonna be more important to a dog that has prey drive than one piece of kibble or good boy. It's just, it's just how it works. So you have to have so much command power, or if you use negative reinforcement, correction power over that dog to get them to listen because they don't want to do bad because they know the repercussions. So food has a lot of power. Toys have a lot of power, and the way that you interact with your dog has a lot of power if the dog understands when and how you're gonna use it, and if you are correct with the power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna show you with my own dog what a little bit of that power looks like. And remember, my dogs are super young, they're just turned a year old, and I'm just now really building that power up. So, show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna have my dog come into this place and then I'm gonna have him come to me and I'm gonna show you how much my dog wants to be with me and how much he covets this reward. And then I'm gonna to transition to a ball reward for some play. I want my dog to wanna to interact with me. I wanna be the best thing on the planet to the dog. I don't want the squirrels, the male lady, anybody else to be more important to me because that's what's gonna build my relationship. Come, place. boy. Come. Good. 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 
boy. Oh boy. See, he shows me behavior because he wants to do more work for more reward and more interaction. That's what you want out of your dog. That's what a good reward system builds. Free. I want my dog to have fun and enjoy training, and I want yours to have fun and enjoy training too. Thanks for watching.